All right, guys, so welcome back, grade nines, to a, another video here. I'm just going to do the written part here, and I'm just breaking it down this way so it's easy to find the solutions. Okay, so I already wrote out part of the solution here. Um, here. In fact, all I have to do is finish it. I get oh, pardon me, I made a mistake four times point one six eight equals yes times five twelve. I get three hundred and forty four. Okay, well, I get three hundred and forty four meters per second. And then here in step two we're gonna go three forty four equals three thirty two plus 0 0.59 T, solve it for temperature. So I'm gonna subtract 332, I'm gonna divide by 0 0.59, and I get 20.4 degrees Celsius, which is a reasonable temperature. I've had students get like, uh, temperatures hot enough to boil steel, okay? <laughs> so uh, you know when you're doing it right, if you, if you don't get these ridiculous temperatures, right, you should get something reasonable for us humans to survive in, okay? All right. Um, okay, so Lara plays 440, you know, 440 hertz on her tube. How long is the tube at this frequency? So it's one of these. Uh, by the way, all musical instruments are open-ended columns. It says that in the question. And we're going to assume, that you always assume the first harmonic if it doesn't say anything. Okay, so what we're going to do first is one, find the speed of sound with the temperature, 332 plus 0 0.59 T. T is zero, so that goes away. Just get 332 meters per second. So that is step one. Step two. Okay, once you have the speed of sound, now we're going to find the wavelength. Wavelength will equal V over F. So it's going to be 332 divided by 440. And I get 0 0.75. So the wavelength is 0. Point, oh, I won't round it too much. 0 0.755. Okay. Now to get the length of the tube, 3. L is equal to, in the first harmonic mode, one half of the wavelength. Okay, so I'm going to take this number, and divide it by 2. And I get 0.377 meters. Okay, so 0.377 meters. That's how long the tube is. So there's your answer. It's 37 centimeters long, which is a little bit longer than a, a, than a small ruler. Okay. All right. So Amy's, I'm going to store that number in memory. Okay. So Amy has one centimeter longer. So that's 0 0.01 longer. So I'm going to add 0 0.01, point three seven seven. Actually, it's just going to work out. Okay, look. So Amy's two is zero point three seven seven meters long, plus zero point zero one, because that's one more centimeter, right? Lots of people forget to convert. Zero point three eight seven meters long. Okay. What is her frequency? Well, we just sort of do these steps backwards now uh, to find, we'll do this first. And then second, we already know that the speed of sound is 332, so we're going to use that again. Uh, F equals V over lambda. Okay. Oh, sorry. First, I got to do something else. I'm sorry, that's the third step. Uh, step two is to find the wavelength. The wavelength is equal to 2L. So it's, it's this step again. Right? Except now we're solving for wavelength. So I'm going to take that number and times it by 2. And I get 0 0.774 meters. OK? 
okay, is the wavelength of her waves. Okay, and then step three, now we can do f equals v over lambda. So I'll just do that times 332. I get 428.9, 428.9 hertz, okay? So that's a little bit differently, that's a little bit different than Lara's note, right? Lara's 440 and Amy is 428. See, she's just a little bit off. One centimeter, it's all it takes for, to make a different frequency, right? So the longer the tube, the lower the note. So the beat frequency is the difference. So it's gonna be 440 minus 428.9 so that's 11.1. And there's your answer for question C right there. Okay, and this is the answer to the second one. All right, sonar questions. Uh, the return comes back in 3.6. Okay, so this is speed equals distance over time. But the time we're going to go 3.64 divided by 2 because it's a round trip, okay? That's a round trip time, right? So it takes half the time to go uh, 2,800 meters. So it's going to be 3.64 divided by 2 is 1.82 seconds. So therefore, speed will equal 2,800 divided by 1.82. Okay, so I get 15.38 meters per second. And there you go. All right. This question here, what is the delay between a flash of lightning? So here's the deal. Light over a short distance of 3.2 kilometers is instant. So you'll see the flash of lightning first, okay? For the sound though, it's gonna take some time for it to reach you. Light travels at 300 million meters per second. Sound is only traveling at I don't know, 340 meters per second, right? So step one, to find the um, speed of sound, we go 332 plus 0.59 T, okay? Uh, where T is the temperature, so the 25 degrees Celsius, so 332 plus 0.59 times 25, I get 346 meters per second, okay, like that. Uh, step two, the time equals distance divided by speed, okay? That's just solving the uh, time, distance, and speed equation. And so time will equal the distance, got to be careful, we're going to go 3,200, so 3.2 kilometers, we have to convert it to meters, so we times it by 1,000, 3,200 divided by 346.75, okay? I get 9.23, so, just under 10 seconds, right? So if, uh, if you hear see lightning and then you hear a uh, thunderclap 10 seconds later, that means your storm, your lightning bolt or whatever was 3.2 kilometers or three, around three, just over 3.2 kilometers away from you okay, at the time. All right, so a bullet train is traveling 500 kilometers per hour. What is the observed frequency? So this is where you use FOBs equals frequency of source times the speed of sound divided by um, the speed of sound. And because it is traveling away from you, it's going to be plus the speed of the source. Okay, now it's important that we convert that number, the speed of the train, into meters per second. So it's 500, okay? Um, divided by 3.6. And I get 138.9 meters per second. So I'm gonna store that in my calculator. Okay, now I'll just plug in all the numbers. Oh, actually I forgot a step. We also have to find the speed of sound using the temperature. So it's 332 
plus 0.59t. The T is 10 degrees Celsius. 332 plus 0.59 times 10. 337.9 meters per second. So we're going to go 350 is the frequency of the horn times uh, 337.9 divided by 337.9 plus 138.9. All right. So 337.9. Plus, we'll do it all in one step. 138. Let me do it again. Plus 337.9 times 350 times 7.9. Okay, I get 248 hertz. That's a lot lower, actually. But I mean, this thing is booking it, right? 500 kilometers per hour, 248 hertz. That is amazingly fast. Okay, bullet train. I guess they don't call it a bullet train for nothing. All right, last question. Okay, on a beautiful spring day, 20 hertz, Charbel's, okay, uh, is driving, blah, blah, blah. He is 400 hertz. But they hear 432. So how fast is he driving? So step one, find the speed of sound. Like a broken record. 332 plus 0.59, sorry, I had to circle the answer in the last one, times the temperature, and what do you get? 332 plus 0.59 times 20, I get 343.8 hertz, okay? And, all right. Okay, sorry, I got distracted. I heard a sound here. Plus, it's snowing out. What is this? It's April. Okay, so now 343.8. I'm sorry, meters per second. What am I doing? That's not good to get distracted. Okay, so that's the speed of sound. All right, now step two. Uh, how fast is he driving? Well, we go to our little formula sheet. Okay, you go to your Doppler equations on the formula sheet. I think he's traveling towards them, am I right? Oh, he must be, because they hear an increase in frequency. So therefore, because it's higher, it's toward. Right? Right. Okay, so now we go to the formula sheet. We go to Doppler. We go to toward. And the speed of the source is this formula here. Okay? So it's the speed of sound minus the speed of source times the speed of sound. All right. So we'll go ahead and use that equation. Um, so the speed of the source equals speed of sound. I'll go back to my formula sheet, minus frequency of the source uh, times the speed of sound. divided by the frequency observed, okay? All right, so there you go. Now you just plug in all the numbers, okay? So we go 343.8 minus uh, the frequency of the source is 400 times 343.8 divided by 432. All right, now when you do all that, 343.8 minus 400 times 343.8 divided by 432, I get 25.4, whoops, 25.4 meters per second, but they want the answer in kilometers per hour. So what do I do? Well, I just times that by 3.6. So I times it by 3.6 to convert it to kilometers per hour. Uh, 25.4 times 3.6 is 91.8 kilometers per hour. That is a dangerous way to drive in a parking lot. But anyway, that's the answer. All right, guys. 
So listen, there you go. There's all the answers to all the questions, and I hope that's okay. Uh, let me just make sure I've circled them all. Yeah, there you have it. Okay, so there's your written portion. All right, so I hope that's okay. I hope that helps. And uh, please post your solutions till I see that, you can, that you've done the work. Okay, please don't put my work and post that on OneNote. Your work, okay, please. This was supposed to be practice, so don't forget on the test that you, you, you can use this as a reference. It's totally up to you. It's open book. I just want you to do it by yourself. But otherwise, that's it. All right. So we will talk to you soon. I hope that helps.